What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Mullet Cast, the podcast where business and pleasure collide. My name is Evan Balmer. What's going on? It's Mike Mercier. What's happening, Mike? Same old. Good. Today we have Paul Musho from Chill Cryo RX, or excuse me, I got that all wrong. Chill RX Cryotherapy <laughs> in Red Bank. Um, you can check them out online at redbank.chillcryo.net. On Facebook, they are at Chill Red Bank. Instagram, where I follow them, Chill Cryo Red Bank, and on Twitter at Chill Cry O R B. Um, they're located at 64 Broad Street in Red Bank. Oh. What's going on, Paul? Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you very much for having me today, Evan, Mike, and uh, have my team here, Jackie and Bill, uh, ready to participate there whenever they whenever they feel, feel ready. So. <laughs> That's cool. And we got, uh, is there a name for your tank? It's sort of like R2-D2 over there or something. That, uh, you know, we don't have a name yet, but that, oh, maybe really? that's a good name, R2-D2. I just called it Little Guy, but uh, you know, <laughs> we, we, have a, we have a bigger one in, uh, in, in Red Bank, so this is the Little Guy. So That thing insane so you got a little portable you don't have to go to red bank you can take the show on the road as well exactly yeah that's really cool um so your background's pretty interesting you're a chemical engineering major um from rutgers you have a finance mba from fordham so you're like a dual threat like there are there are many people (laughs) that understand both worlds well for some reason when i was uh when i was in high school i um really liked chemistry right. and really liked mathematics and put the two together and said, let me be a chemical engineer. Mm-hmm. And then when I went to uh, Rutgers and, uh, you know, right up the street here in New Brunswick, uh, went through the classes and everything and, and graduating and was looking for a job and it was like, well, you need to go to Texas. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to go to Texas. <laughs> you know? so, so I had to find, uh, you know, chemical engineering uh, uh, career in New Jersey. So I progressed through, fortunately, you know, worked at Union Carbide, worked at... Uh, um, Werner Flyter and, uh, and Micromotion, you know, doing engineering things, selling to the uh, companies that were in this area. Okay. So that's how nice. I kind of grew up and, uh, and got into the business world. Right. And then you were at General Electric for a long time. Was like that b- yeah. the bulk of your career? Yeah, exactly. So when I, I switched from, um, from Emerson and went to General Electric, uh, really to kind of get into the biotech world because we were, I was in the life sciences division of GE mm-hmm. and it was a growing division over there in Piscataway, New Jersey. So I got into um, uh, chromatography sales essentially, which is used for uh, in the biotech drug development area in this area. Right. And it's used to purify uh, bio, you know, proteins in the biotech industry. So I initially called on all the different research institutions in the area, uh, Columbia University, NYU, and then slowly got into the biotechs in the area and everything. It was just a fantastic experience, a lot of fun. Right. So I was in sales for many years and then moved into business development and operations and general management. So I did kind of the whole gamut of things there at GE. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, and it was working for GE is uh, it was an incredible experience because it's such a big company everything that they do there is big you know right. we you know we you know when you roll out a, a project it's you know you maybe started in the united states and if it goes well it goes global you right. know? Yeah. and uh you know so it was really uh, you know an exciting experience with that and um and but then f- unfortunately they all d- they decided to move everything up to um to boston mm-hmm. and i wasn't gonna again move out of this area so mm-hmm. um so i decided to pivot and uh, and come into cryotherapy wow. and it was just a fantastic transition. I had been a customer of cryotherapy okay. uh, for many years. I was just like, it was like right at my point in my life where I wanted to, you know, what I always say is kind of do more with the time that you have. You right. know? And cryotherapy is a great uh, therapy for that because if you have a lot of muscle pain after you're working out and you want to work out maybe five days a week instead of one day a week, you can come to cryotherapy on a regular basis and it relieves that muscle pain and allows you to kind of work out more, be better at the sports that you're doing, uh, sleep better at night, all those kinds of things. So, right. so I was a customer for many years, and when GE left, I said, "All right, this is a perfect area to start a business in. It has a little bit of everything that I that I do, you know. And well, owning a small business, you you pretty much do everything. Right. Mm-hmm. So it. Um, so GE was kind of like the also the poster child for how to run a corporation, right? Yeah. So you must have. Mm-hmm. Really got some great training there. Yes. To take yeah. out any, what kind of stuff did you learn that you've taken into your own business world? Well, I'll, I'll tell you that's a, that's a good question. Um, and w- one of the things is uh, you know everything that at GE is run on metrics mm-hmm. and uh, what you know what are the metrics that are important for business and how do you grow a business and uh, and I think B- Bill and Jackie will be well aware of the metrics that I'll talk <laughs> about here. Is uh, number one is uh, I track an NPS score. Okay. Which is a net promoter score. Right. Okay. 
And uh, every client that comes out of ChillerX is sent a survey on mm-hmm. how was their experience and their rate from uh, zero to 10. Right. And, uh, and then they provide feedback on that. So we keep an eye on all of our client experiences to make sure that they're you know that they're fantastic. We want them to really have a great experience at the at Chillerex in, in right. Westfield, or Chillerex in, in Red Bank. And then ten is basically like they'll refer you to another to a friend, right? Is Ex- that the goal? That's basically? exactly right. Nines or tens refer you to friends. Right. Uh, seven or eights are um, you know m- m- middle of the road, mm-hmm. and then anything below that is detractor. And detractors will will talk you know poorly about your business online and social media. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So we did that at GE for many many years, and when I uh, started in Red Bank. It was a perfect transition. The software that I had had an NPS score, and uh, you know, and, and out they went to everybody. And we're doing extremely well. We have numbers in the ninety, which is a fantastic number. <laughs> right. And it's you know, if you stack it up against other companies around the world, ninety is something that's completely unattainable. But because we have you know a great staff with Jackie and Bill <laughs> and and ev- and the rest of the team. And then we're providing a unique technology. People right. are really excited about it and That's giving cool. us really good ratings. And then what can you do for someone that is like a two, three, four? What what follow up do you do with that? Well, that's that's a good point. Is um, you know you hopefully they've given some sort of a, a written feedback right. as to what you can do. And uh, if you have their name and phone number, you call them up right away and uh, and you know ask them if there's anything you know. Or let's say there's something that went wrong or something you know something late you know something on those lines or the appointment was mis misentered or something uh, that then you immediately mm-hmm. call and follow up to make sure that uh, you know there's a way to remedy it with the various ways to remedy the yeah. solution. So, right. so that's the number one metric, and we tracked out at GE, and we used to meet regularly about it at GE and go through hundreds and hundreds of uh, of po- points about it, and 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 the, the idea is always to follow up and and correct them and and then right. continue to grow the NPS score. That's awesome. I feel like any any business could have that system right. to you know make sure they're growing the right way. It is, and it's an industry standard. If you if you search NPS, it comes up, and there's mm-hmm. a book about it, and anybody can start sending out surveys and do it. You know, yeah. there's softwares that do it automatically, but you can, anybody can can roll it out and do it. Yeah, I was just at a law firm conference that was uh, basically drilling it in your head that if you're not doing this, you need to be right away. Oh, um, so you're oh yeah, yeah there, there you go. Exactly. Yeah, right. it is it is a true and the nice thing about it is is you can compare yourself they have data just for legal law firms data right. for different industries they don't have cryotherapy yet but maybe that'll be my uh, yeah. you know, down yeah. the road but i think any kind of service business it's really important because yes. you're especially as a new business their word of mouth is probably your biggest driver of, mm-hmm. of business you know yes. yeah um, absolutely. you guys have been killing it on social media too yeah totally oh, everyone okay. that's everyone that's been there is posting and they're all having a blast oh well thank you very yeah. much yeah that is a uh, you know i'm you know, probably relatively new to social media, I would say. You know, mm-hmm. I've I've watched Gary Vaynerchuk and and seen his videos and such. And so when I started this business, I said, all right, how am I going to get into social media and and be a part of it? And uh, you know, Bill on my team is very good at it. He's over here working right. on it, uh, doing the live <laughs> posts. Uh, but what my kind of thinking about social media is is that it's not something that you can buy. You know, right. that you can just say, you know, I'm going to you know, have somebody do my social media or go, it's something that you really have to live. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's the, that's Gary, you know, and Gary talks about that is, is that you have to kind of open up your life and, and allow the world and your client to see how you're, you're doing things, what your therapies experience in my situation mm-hmm. and, and show that on your, you know, social media feeds, right. whichever it may be, Instagram, Facebook, whatever yeah. it may be. Yeah. And, and that's the best way to success with it. So we're trying to do that. And then, and then also, um, you have to operate it. You have to really go into all the different aspects of it mm-hmm. because it it changes all the time. And there's just so many features and functionality that you can take advantage of right. if you really get into it. Absolutely. Um, so how did you – take us back to when you discovered Cryo. Um, what were you going through in your life that you sought it out? And how did you find it? What did you know about it? Well, I was um, – it. so the store, Ch- Chillerx Cryotherapy, opened up in Westfield about three years ago. Mm-hmm. Okay. And – it was right at the point in my life where I was, like I said, I was working out, and it, was, it would take me three or four days to recover. I was just like, "This is just, this is getting crazy." You know, right. I'm 50 years old, and and you know, I, I can't just you know work out <laughs> you know once a week. I mean, that's not gonna, it's not right. gonna work. You know, so uh, immediately when I started going to cryotherapy, I was like, "Wow, you know, I feel great afterwards. Mm-hmm. I can, uh, 
you know, you know, work out on a Monday and then still work out on a Tuesday and then go do things in the evenings. I can play golf in the evening with my friends and, you know, play golf on the weekends and such without right. having to, like, you know, just, you know, be just completely tired and exhausted. Mm-hmm. And it gave me that energy to be able to continue to work out, to mm-hmm. keep, you know, keep up my stamina and be able to, you know, enjoy the things that I do in the evening. So that, that was really the, the big, the big kind of switch of things, gotcha. you know, and it, and it benefits you from the, um, you know, re- reduce pain, pain from working out. Uh, but the big thing is, and this is what a lot of our clients and Jackie knows this too, is they, they say it's, there's one, I coined this term from one of our clients. It's all about the sleep is, is that it, it burns more calories that allows you to relax, reduces inflammation in your body. So you sleep better. Right. Mm-hmm. And if you can sleep better, then, you, you know, you can recover better. You, you you wake up in the morning with so much more energy, and you can do more. Right. You know? So it's really uh, an incredible. You know. I, I've heard about you, you know your business from Vice News to I listen to a lot of Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. They talk about it there. So correct me if I'm wrong. So it's essentially putting your body into shock through temperatures. Your your blood centers you know centers itself in its body and then releases to issue the the parts of body that need recovery. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So you got it to good. Um, Look at you, yeah. cryo guy. So you're, you're listening. You're, 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 that's one of the you know cry, cryotherapy is. Um, it's Did been around. Research. Yeah, it's been around for forty years, but I would say in the United States, it's really gotten you know, really gotten popular within the last four or five years. I would mm-hmm. say. So uh, you know, it's really starting to spread around. You know, the athletic world really picked it up first. I would say, mm-hmm. and has made it popular with the the posting and everything. Uh, but then it's. I think that the the real benefit is is that starts broadening out to to other areas. Like I'm not by any means a professional athlete at all. You right. know, and a lot of our clients are not professional athletes, mm-hmm. but but they want to do more, just like a professional athlete right. wants to do. It is interesting how some things trickle down through like celebrities, athletes, and then eventually work their way to the general public. Yeah, right. Exactly. Like is this the same thing? Like when Michael Jackson was sleeping in a cryotherapy chamber back in the day, it was was that yeah. similar? Was he? I'm it was it, it was probably an oxygen. I think it was an oxygen chamber. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was okay. an oxygen. Yeah, it was. Yeah, you it can so you can only spend three minutes in a cryotherapy uh, okay. chamber unless you, <laughs> unless you want to freeze. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. I wouldn't recommend more than yeah. So it's it's only three, but it's probably an oxygen chamber where he was uh, okay. breathing pure oxygen. So he wasn't yeah. doing cryo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but the, gotcha. but the oxygen chambers is there are several uh, around that people do for athletic recovery. Right. That's another modality in right. in the wellness area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So were you like was the chemical engineer and you research this for your like the technology of it when you were looking for for help well I think no I would say that it was um, you know I, I understood what was going on mm-hmm. I think from that and uh, you know and helped me to understand and and you know and, and achieve the benefits of it right and uh, and I, I went on a regular basis I mean there was four or five months there where I literally went every day I was working from home I was doing uh, you know the, a global software project with GE so I would work from home and be able to you know do all my work on the computer and everything at home right. and be able to go to crowd therapy on my break at lunch time. So, That's cool. So I went constantly for quite a while and it and it worked out really, really well. So, so. Chill RX in Westfield was just a local yeah. provider you found? Exactly. So that was the that's the first uh, location of Chillerex, and then I opened up the second one here mm-hmm. in uh, in Red Bank. So I'm the owner here in Red Bank, and then we have a third that's opening up in Montclair soon, and uh, nice. I think I'll be the third location. Right. Nice. Um, you said it started with athletes primarily, and you know I told you earlier I used to take ice baths. You know, you yes. ice a sore part of your body. Right. Um, three minutes doing cry- uh, cryo is equivalent to an hour of an ice bath. Yeah, or there's some some measure there. So, yeah. I mean, if you're an athlete and your time is money and, and you want to get recovered quickly, it, it makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah, and you're going to get uh, much more of a cryotherapy effect because when you go into, like, the chamber in Red Bank, yeah. is you're totally immersed from your toes to your head for minus 220 degrees Fahrenheit mm-hmm. at the lowest setting. So you're going to get a magnified cryotherapy effect. And, and, you know, not only does the blood flow, but you get a natural release of endorphins throughout your mm-hmm. whole body. And that's the, really the, the true kind of natural chemical that addresses all those concerns. So um, it, it, it is much more efficient than it's 
it's not painful in mm. any ways, and and one hour in a in a uh, water bath is probably pretty it sucks. painful. Right? It sucks. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. <laughs> I believe it. It's not fun. I, I've never done that. I've, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's funny. So, Jackie, are you actually doing like operations of the systems when people come into to your location? Yes. Yeah, so, um, Bill and I, and many others, we have a team, and we all work together, and we're all trained in everything. Mm. So, we are. You know, our goal is just to give the extraordinary experience to all of our clients that come in and um and we you know we're all trained in everything which is great so um you know we're even we're even making sure that they are um feeling great when they leave right Mm -hmm. that's you know that's the main goal refreshed and able to sleep well and um and you know it can be a quick experience or a long experience whatever Mm -hmm. whatever the client wants or needs that day you know sometimes they just come in quickly to go in the three minute chamber and then sometimes they come in to do one of our sculptings or one of the um the tea shock and that that takes longer that takes like an hour what are those i have no clue what those are so we have we have several <laughs> several other different modalities in, okay. in chill rx and red bank um one of them that, that jackie said is chill sculpting and that is um, – it's it's an advanced applicator that changes temperature from hot to cold, and you pass it, let's say, on your midsection, and it yeah. actually freezes the fat in a certain area. Mm-hmm. And you can lose – you know, you know th- wow. through, through proper – you know, also proper diet and and, uh, and a calorie reduction, you'll lose the fat much quicker than, than you would in, in uh, normal hmm. ways. Right. So Does it we, help with muscles as well or in joints, or is it mostly for fat? Well, we, we do. That's a, that's a very good question. You should be on our marketing team. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, so we have um, we have three treatment areas. One is the sculpting, which is for fat reduction, and then okay. we have a second, which is a, uh, a chill skin, which is for facials, and we call it a red carpet facial for uh, reducing the lines in your face and uh, and being you know improving the collagen production in your mm-hmm. face. Then we have a third called chill therapy. Which is for muscle pain and and uh, you know like you, you said your neck we that that's yeah, really, yeah it's hurting today yeah. that's an advanced yeah. therapy it's it's an advanced applicator that can is really like an advanced ice cube it can go right on your neck or your shoulder or your arm and uh, and be able to help you recover quicker that way wow right. it's almost like you know the ice bath the the icy hot ointment you used to put in your, it's mm-hmm. it's just. Right. You know, technology, bring it to the next level, making it quicker, easier, more efficient. Exactly right. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I noticed, like, in addition to, like, the f- there's tons of treatments, like you mentioned, and mm-hmm. you guys are making events. Like, I saw you posted a, like, a chill RX happy hour, I think, yes. on Friday yeah. night. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> so we're looking, you know, I, I think when we, when you want to, um, uh, you know, release a technology into a broad marketplace. You mm-hmm. want to segment it out and try to, uh, you know, go after different groups. And right. one of them in Red Bank is the, uh, you know, kind of that happy hour Friday night come out and then before you go to dinner. Right. So we have a uh, Friday night happy hour from five to eight every Friday, and people can come in at a at a discounted rate and experience uh, cryotherapy and. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, so we, we've had, you know, pretty good success with it on Friday night. People right. coming in. We have some people that call in and, you know, make reservations, you know, for their, yeah. you know, it's like. And then we have some walk-ins because we have quite a busy uh, Broad Street there, right. people coming by. And then somebody is even, you know, scheduled out a month, like, hey, I'm having a big party. I want to have a big group come in and they'll, right. they'll schedule in for that. Yeah. Does it have an effect on appetite? You know, with all the chemical changes and well, you do you do um, lose lose calories in the session because your body is fighting to stay warm. Yeah. So you can lose anywhere from five to eight hundred calories in the session. So you you know you're you're going to burn some calories. So I don't I don't think you're going to feel hungrier. You're going to you know I but you'll you know, feel better a, eating more. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. No. it's uh, yeah. you know if your if your goal is to lose weight, then you're prob- you probably you know maybe you'll have the the fish instead of the you know the the, the porterhouse. Okay, yeah. Yeah. all right. <laughs> I thought you were going to ask if it has any effect on the alcohol you bring into the chamber with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so is there an effect on the alcohol? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have to bring grain in with you because yeah, that doesn't uh, that's true freeze as fast. <laughs> yeah, we haven't tried that yet. Maybe we should uh, do uh, you know happy hour with the chilling of the drink too. Right. <laughs> Right, so it's a BYOB happy hour over there. Just yeah. two two Sauvignon Blancs, right. yeah. <laughs> gets them nice and cold. Um, so the gloves and the you wear gloves and socks, right? Yeah, exactly. So when you're in the chamber, um, you know there's certain parts of your body that you want to be careful, that, you, you know, that, that are not ex- directly exposed. So your fingers, uh, your ears, and your toes okay. are, are really kind of the big big areas, and then the middle section for men and such. You wear underwear. For, um, okay. 
So we, we provide all of that so clients can just come in and they change. We offer robes and socks and they come in and change, put on clogs, and, mm-hmm. uh, and you're set to go. Right. Nice. That's cool. Um, so tell us about your portable treatment so people don't have to come in and see you. You yeah, take so, this on the road. Yeah, so what we have here is, um, is our uh, local chamber here, and uh, it, this is fill, filled with liquid nitrogen. And then it, uh, it va- va- vaporizes out into an applicator, right. and you can um, put it down to specific areas. Mm. So one of the most popular treatments with this is a cryofacial. So you can uh, you put it over your face, or you can put it on specific areas, your arms, your shoulders. And just one recent example is, is uh, believe it or not, when I opened up my business, I, I tore my... Uh, distal bicep tendon right, right. here mm-hmm. and uh, much to everybody's surprise Jackie why are you team. laughing That's we, <laughs> we thought is this a trick yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just because we needed a test subject when we were all learning and training yeah. And yeah. so we practiced on his arm. Yeah, we practiced on my arm. Yeah, and it wasn't, it didn't have anything to, like, I didn't tear my bicep because I was opening up a crowd. Right. Yeah, it yeah. Was, yeah. yeah, they didn't, the two of them didn't go together. But right. uh, so, but but it was, uh, you know, I can uh, show you the, so this was the, the actual uh, incision right here. Oh, wow. And uh, it's been about 12 weeks now. Now, have and, these photos uh, been on your site? That's, is that your arm? I that's me. Know. Yeah, I've wow. said that. I've yeah, that, that is me. That is my arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so many people have said that. Say, that's funny. Like, it's your I've arm. I've seen yeah. those. And, uh, you know, so the, so the benefit of it is is that, you know, initially, you know, it reduced the swelling before the um, – the, the surgery right so that it made this surgery go better and okay. then after the surgery it just reduces the inflammation after that and now with physical therapy you know being able to move my arm and, mm-hmm. and extend it out and you just apply it right onto the incision and, right. or in the, in the tendon and such to help reduce the inflammation as wow. you're working how long ago did you have the, the surgery it was I think it's been 11 weeks now oh, okay. so wow. and it's full you know full pretty much full movement just about I mean my elbow is still a little bit sore in the back here so it's probably about 98% extended now. Yeah, I mean, so, check out the photos on Instagram, the Chill Cryo Red Bank, because I was looking at them. You're, you're, it is pretty miraculous. Like, the yeah. post-surgery was pretty gnarly looking. And uh, yeah, it, was, it's, it's, <laughs> it looks was pretty good a, now. a disappointing experience with that, having this happen with <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, uh, but it's been... So let, let me show you. I can uh, just open it up here, select. Um, you want to move that over? Yeah, for sure. So this you would take on the road mainly for like localized treatments, facials, anything exactly, else. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's a, that's so, pretty much it. So the initial um, kind of initially cools down. And you can feel the uh, the cool air. See Mike, you can feel it. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you basically just move the the applicator in the, the, the treatment area. And usually anywhere from six to 12 inches away from the treatment, mm-hmm. depending upon how experienced and how comfortable the client is. Right. What temperature is that? It's gonna be minus 200, so it's minus liquid 200? nitrogen. Oh, wow. yeah, it's vaporized liquid nitrogen, wow. so it's very cold. Now, the, the important thing too is you don't wanna freeze the skin, obviously, mm-hmm. you know, so we keep an eye on the skin temperature. Uh, in the store, we do have a, a thermometer that we can measure. Right. But usually, you know, you're in communication with the client to mm-hmm. make sure that uh, that they're not getting frostbite, or you, know, you right. want to make sure that uh, that it's a comfortable experience, so that you're getting the benefits of the of the cryotherapy treatment. So, how long will the treatment like that last typically? It's uh, you know about three to four minutes. Okay. All mm-hmm. right. Cool. Um, we have asked Ming to to check out the facial portion. Um, okay, are you ready, Ming? Do you want to come in? And <laughs> he recently had his neck cracked, and uh, oh, so you so he, you're he, full, you're under full. Uh, right. I, I've signed my waivers. He yeah. signed uh, tons of waivers. <laughs> oh, we got a chair here. Um, I know. All right, where's he? So now his neck is sweet. Now he's going to look pretty as well. Yeah, I know. You're going to be ready. Too bad it's right. not Friday night. All right, where you want me? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so have you ever, have you, uh, we'll do it on your face. Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the facial is the exact same type of treatment, yep. basically. So, so you can see the, um, the nitrogen vapor. Okay. And uh, t- tell, me, tell me if it's too cold. And you just kind of. All right, it feels good, like uh, good air conditioning on a. On a, on a air. <laughs> <laughs> it feels nice. All right. Yeah. 
So is that what it feels like, Ming? Just like a uh, AC blowing it's, on? It's uh, yeah. Those? You remember um, you know, where you would open the freezer uh, and, yeah. in the summer because it wasn't hot enough in the house. That's right, there you go. <laughs> It kind of looks like that. Then I kind of pass it down, you know, careful if it goes, you know, by your nose and such. What are you thinking about, man? I, uh, you know, like Antarctica, but it feels (laughs) feels good because it's warm around me, though. (laughs) So this, you know, increases the blood flow in your face, reduces the lines and wrinkles, uh, increases collagen production in your face, and it's really... uh, and we have we have quite a few men that come in for facials too, so it's not just a. Uh, so how often a, would you suggest people come in and and do like the facial treatment? Well, it's it's more you know it's an event type of and a a need type of base. Okay. You know? So for if you have an injury, mm-hmm. uh, we would recommend that you come quite a bit in the first week mm-hmm. to be able to reduce the inflammation and either be ready for pre-op or to help reduce the inflammation after post-op. Right. Now, for, you know, quite a few people come in for facials before events. Uh, you know, we have quite a few weddings in Red Bank, and, uh, you know, people come in to prepare for before the weddings. Right. And, uh, you know, and such like that. And then, then we have some people with skin conditions that come in quite often, and, uh, you know, they'll, they'll get a, a crowd facial uh, before the weekend so that they can enjoy their weekend because, let's say, they have rosacea or acne or something along those lines, and mm-hmm. they want to... That's so it would have a positive impact on us. That's time. a perfect yes, segue for, exactly. for a question I wanted to ask you. Yeah. So I have eczema, mm-hmm. right? And it gets really bad in the cold. Yeah. Um, would this cold help or worsen? No, it would help quite a bit. It would help. Yeah, it would help quite a bit. Now, yeah. how, what, why is that? Why is the, the cold different than cold air from the outside? Well, it's it's a it's a much colder and and it just penetrates the skin and, and allows. So yeah, is, your neck, put, is your neck freezing? It, <laughs> it, 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 it got a little cold. Yeah, I don't want to put it in one area there. You, see, I, you, you can't talk and, uh, right. and, 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 and do cryotherapy therapy at the it, same yeah. time. <clears throat> so that looks good, Ming. Yeah. Well, I'll let you guys judge that, but yeah. uh, beautiful. You look glowing. Oh, yeah. And then, I, then I, you should you always finish it off with a nice with a nice head. Oh, you see that? Yeah. It's amazing. Do earrings have to be out? Uh, if you're if you're applying it directly to an ear, you have to be careful with that. Okay. And we ask for people to take off earrings when they okay. go into the whole body. But this is you know there there's also a concussion protocol. We have several people that have come in with concussions, right. and this is reduces the uh, the inflammation for a concussion. I've got a wrestler right now who has one. Yeah. So yeah, that is I'll bring it up. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a weird sensation. And it's then you yeah. get the, the cool um, look of a uh, Ming smoking. Yeah. smoking yeah. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. That's, that's awesome. It's still coming out right now. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that has, that has no, nothing no, to do with the cryotherapy. He's just on fire. That's what that is. <laughs> so, man, give us a little play-by-play on what that feels like. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was kind of like uh, you know, just uh, that, that that cold rush air. It's not unpleasant, and uh, you know, it's not it's you're not freezing uh, the skin or anything. But yeah, it felt it felt good. It was uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, th- that's the only thing. I get. My analogy is that uh, you know, when it's really hot, really hot in the summer, and you you would open the freezer and stick yeah. your head in. Yeah. It's like and that that pleasant. It's like oh, that feeling of like relief. Right. Of uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> felt I, that felt great. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> do you feel refreshed? I do. Yeah. Well, I mean, very much so. Okay. Yeah. 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 Much like sticking your head in the freezer uh, <laughs> on, a, on a hot summer day. Yeah. <laughs> but I like how it was focused as well. So it was. Uh, mm-hmm. and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, good. That's cool. It actually does look like when you stick your head in the face. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> With the, like, yeah. Just the, it just falls on right. your shoulders. And, and actually more of an old school freezer. So yeah. I think freezers are like as uh, mm-hmm. you know, good as they used to be, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So what? So you would typically take that on the road, like for a group of people? Yeah, or, exactly. Or we, we do demonstrations at, uh, at various uh, locations around New Jersey, and, mm-hmm. and we'll bring that because that's nice and portable because gotcha. the, the whole body, uh, you know, you, you can't bring that anywhere. I mean, it's thousands of pounds. So, right. Yeah, and you need quite a bit more nitrogen to be able to do the, uh, the whole body. So. Okay. Well, so how many, like, treatments could you do? Like someone was having, all right, let's have a cryo party. Well, this you could do 50 treatments on okay. this easily. And then we have a bigger one, too, that we can bring uh, portable. So we just need a, you know, two people loaded in the car rather than one. So. Right. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah, I'm thinking it. of all the possibilities. I'm just thinking my, my wrestling team, yeah. 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 These, guys are all, these guys are all banged up. And right. Yeah. This yeah. Is all. 
It's I mean, a, is this something you think uh, do physical therapists, would they incorporate this into their treatment or would well, you we, work with we them? Part, we, yeah, we partner with physical therapists mm-hmm. and they refer patients over that are in parts of their treatment to be able to come and, and get cryotherapy, you know, right. if they're you know, post-surgery or pre-surgery. Uh, they'll come in, so like Atlantic Therapy and Red Bank, that's, that's where I go, so we're working with them to okay. be able to refer patients over and such. So that's probably the best way to do it, mm-hmm. um, you, you know, because physical therapy, you're going to go once, twice a week, but in between, you know, you're going to be working on your own, doing exercises, mm-hmm. and, and that's where the cryotherapy would come in to help you recover from those and help you reduce inflammation from those. Where do you see the science going? You know, is there is there next tier that, that's oh, in the industry? Well, there there is, um, you, you know, I would say with um, with whole body cryotherapy, it's just going to continue to to kind of develop and and spread out and and continue to have you know broaden out to more people is, mm-hmm. is where I see from that. With um, with local therapy, with this, I, there's there's advances in different types of units. You know, this is liquid nitrogen chilled. There's um, uh, carbon, uh, you know, you know, they use soda, c- carbon dioxide, mm-hmm. you know, for the soda machines. That you, that's cold too, and they're they're making applicators with that because the CO2 is a little more readily available uh, and you know uh, smaller tanks, but it's a higher pressure. Mm-hmm. So they're they're going in that area. Uh, that's pretty cool. So I, you know, I see that as you know different com- competitors in in those areas, but I think with the whole body, is you know having the best experience and having the the, the most efficient experience, which is what our unit, the Arctic, does, is you know because it, it chills you from your head to your toe. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. I gotta give it a go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. gotta check sure. it out. Yeah. That is cool. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So you received world class training at GE, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. You already told us you're managing like these global programs from uh-huh. home, yep. like it's insanity. So, have you found it challenging going out now and starting your own small business, or was that a really easy? You know, I leap think for it's. I think it's been a, a pretty smooth transition because, mm. you know, I have, you know, everything that I've done with starting up the small business mm. is something within my 30 years experience that I've already done. Right. You know, with um, as far as uh, funding, I, you know, I've, I've done that before with, with real estate and such. Right. Um, and, and putting the, the funds together to start up, you know, so I've done that before. Uh, building essentially a, cryothera- a, a, a cryogenics facility. Right. I've done that before with with Union Carbide. I built hydrogen facilities, and nitrogen is that's crazy. It's a, it's yeah, a lot it's different wild, than, yeah. than right. hydrogen. It's much more dangerous. But you know, speaking with the officials in Red Bank, you know, I, I was able to to build mm-hmm. that, and so, you know, I have a twelve thousand pound liquid nitrogen tank in the back of my store, and it's right. supported, <laughs> and I worked with the. <laughs> The design it's engineers massive. and we, yeah. yeah, it's a huge tank. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, so, so I, you know, from the the mechanical and and chemical engineering aspect of building right. that, I have experience with that. With all the software, I've developed and and trained software, you know, rollouts before. So our, our main scheduling software and our uh, NPS software, I've, right. I've done similar things with that. And now with sales, I've um, sold myself and then managed sales and. So with the team, you know, every, some people have sales experience, some people don't, and right. trying to train them and get them up and running with gotcha. that. So I think, you know, the one kind of new area is the social media, which we spoke about. Right. We, you know, with a GE, we didn't really put our – we didn't really have a social media presence because it was a B2B selling right. environment. So that that is the new area, and uh, – but it's but it's a really fun area to, to explore mm, yeah. and to experience and to grow into. So. Right. So I would say that's the uh, not a challenge, but the new area that I'm experiencing sure. mm-hmm. going into. And what about Red Bank as a location? Did you put a lot of effort into deciding where you were going to open, and yes. are you happy with Red Bank? So I looked, you know, I looked at several towns in uh, in New Jersey, and I wanted to have a, a downtown location, um, have a, a good size store to uh, to be able to have all the different therapies and have the tank, obviously, mm-hmm. and then um, you know it needed to be in a vibrant, growing community, and uh, and. All the you know you're looking in three or four different places, and then Red Bank came came together the quickest, right. and yeah. uh, and it, and it's you know the first two months have been you know pretty successful, accepted by the neighborhood and and by the community, and and we're we're doing very well. So that's cool. So what's on the the horizon for the the springtime? It's your one year anniversary, right? Soon? Uh, no. Well, well, it's my. I opened November twenty third. Okay. So it's gonna. I'm um, two months now. So, okay. So um, you know the anniversary won't be, but I will have a. I'm gonna have a grand opening the uh, the first weekend of March. Which okay. Will be kind of the first weekend of things getting warm. Right. Um, I'll be fully up and running. The the team will be completely trained, 
and uh, we have uh, all, all of our technologies released, so we're going to do kind of an official grand opening that weekend and, and uh, publicize it and such like that. Awesome. So, so everyone should of, follow you on social media, yeah, keep an eye exactly. on it. Yeah, that'll all be right. a, a big weekend. We'll have the town uh, come and uh, you know, different events, and we're working with several uh, partners in the area, and we'll put together kind of a big event uh, for the awesome. end. Awesome. Can you do like a ribbon freezing instead of a ribbon cutting? That's a like good maybe idea. The thing <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it shouldn't, the ribbon shouldn't be red. It should right. be white, right? right. And have some, yeah, I'll, so, I'll have to uh, <laughs> That would be pretty cool. That, to the lid. Yeah. that could awesome. go uh, viral on the uh, Yeah, yeah. yeah. Freeze yeah, like it, a broken hit it with the hammer, it shatters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'd be badass. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. That's a free beam. Yeah. Thank you, Evan. No uh, all right, hit your uh, your back of the mullet. All right, so uh, we got we got the business side right. Your yeah. background. So what what do you do on the back end? What's your what's your uh, your mullet look like? Well, <laughs> well, I really don't have any. <laughs> you you will for the picture. Yeah, after yeah okay. This. That's good. <laughs> By March, it's gonna grow. In. Yeah, yeah that'd be sweet. <laughs> the um, well on the back side, you know, uh, you know, my wife Dorothy and Jack and I, we we kind of that's that's what I enjoy to do, spending time with them and mm-hmm. uh, and, and going out with them and. Um, and I think, you know, one of the things is when, when I first got into cryotherapy was being able to play more golf. And I enjoy, to play, I enjoy playing golf. Right. And uh, my wife and I, when we went on our honeymoon, we actually went to Ireland for two weeks and, and played golf on our honeymoon in Ireland. Oh, so that's cool. nice. it, was a, it was a fantastic trip. And so obviously my wife plays golf, too. I didn't go to on yeah. my honeymoon to play golf on my own, but, you know, because <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah. add that into the description <laughs> there. So, uh, you know, so Dorothy and I both play golf and um, – so, so we we play, you know, both together with our friends and uh, you know different uh, tournaments and things. I'm, you know, with with my handicap, you know, that's the you know because golf is a great sport. You can <laughs> yeah. play with anybody with a handicap. And then what's fun about it is my son um, played golf uh, basically with us on vacations, but now he's starting to play with his friends, and then he's caddying too now, which is fun too oh, because cool. he can. You know, the three of us can go out and, you know, and he can carry our bag and, you know, and then I don't have to pay him because, you right. know, I drove him there. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. <laughs> so I, I caddy as a kid and like one of my, f- the, my favorite memories, my grandparents golfed all the time, uh-huh. right? They owned a small business actually just outside of Red Bank in Shrewsbury and spent a lot of time, like the perk for them was they golfed like every afternoon. Uh-huh. So I had this image of my grandmother as like Nancy Lopez or something, right? Because uh-huh. she golfed all the time. And then one time I went and, <laughs> and caddied for her and her friends. Uh-huh. And <laughs> she was the biggest duffer ever. Like the ball barely <laughs> cleared me. I'm like, what? Ha-? Like my image was shattered. Like, it was hilarious. And she enjoyed getting out and uh, you know gave it a go. So it was cool. Yeah. Well, I think Jack is the same thing because he caddies and he's caddied for a few friends of ours. And he came home one time and he goes, he goes, boy, well, like, Brian is really good. And I was like, what do you mean really good? So, oh, well, he knows where it hits the ball and it goes there. <laughs> and he, you know, he. There's there's no messing around in between. Right. Meaning like when you when you caddy for me, so unlike yeah. some other people I caddy for. <laughs> exactly, I think right. that was a hint. Yeah. That's funny. That's awesome. Anything else? You got the golf, hanging out with the fam. Well, I liked. You know, I'm also a poker player. I play uh, quite a bit of poker. And, yeah. You uh, saw the chips, right? When yeah, you I saw in. the chips, and that that was what uh, you do. Look you know, right at home at this table. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Comfortable <laughs> with the table. We have. Um, we have uh, several games in Westfield that we play on a regular basis, and one of them in particular is on our street. Is uh, We have the Clarence Cup, okay. and it's been a 10-year uh, continuously running poker tournament that we have once a month. Right. And uh, we first started off, you know, like, well, how are we going to do this? You know, when we started off with a cup and we started engraving, engraving our names on it. Mm-hmm. Well, now, 10 years later, 120 names, the cup is like the Stanley Cup, essentially. Now. Yeah, it's that's a big, cool. huge thing that's with awesome. everybody's names engraved on it. Right. And, uh, you know, it's not a, you know, big, huge money tournament, but it's, you got to win the cup. You yeah. Know? Right. So it's, uh, you know, the typical, um, uh, you know, Texas Hold'em tournament style. And, That's and cool. the last person That's to win. So we, we've... Uh, you have your name on the cup? Yeah, I have my name Sweet. on the cup. And the initial, f- f- I had my name on it more, but now it's a little bit less because I don't know whether I'm getting worse or everybody that I'm playing with is getting better. <laughs> I think it's probably everybody's getting better. Right, but, uh, you know, they practice and, uh, and they, you know, you know... Take down the champ. Yep, yep. There you go. That's true. <laughs> and does the winner get to keep the cup for a little bit while? Like get to take keep it, it for the month. That's yeah, sweet. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. That is cool. So we have, and then you know, throughout the year, there's you know, the holiday cup is always the biggest one. You want to have the, uh, you want to win the December tournament. <laughs> so that way you can. <laughs> right. And there has been a few of our friends that the cup has shown up in their Christmas card. That's, that's always awesome. That's, little, that's great. You know, we we always a little disappointed with the particular, <laughs> you know, when they. 
You don't even hang that one up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That one like, goes right in the trash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like you put it in the, Son of the a Christmas gun. card. Like, what do you yeah. do? You know, yeah. so, you know, we, we always, everybody has fun with each other with that. So that's, that's awesome. cool. <laughs> All right, good deal. Sweet. Yeah. Paul, Jackie, Bill. Bill, you got anything you want to say? You've been busy like filming everything. You want to tell us a little bit about what you do before you get out of here? Yeah, I do um, a little bit of everything as well, but my background is more into the, the social media marketing, mm -hmm. so that's kind of where I uh, where I kind of excel at. So cool. that's kind of what I've been trying to handle. Um, <laughs> but name, yeah, name with, the the new, with the new company, it's... Um, it's fun, fun in the beginning. That's so cool. we're just doing a lot of different things. So are you the guy behind a lot of like the Instagram stuff we see? A lot of it, yeah. yeah. I'd say majority of it. But yeah. um, I thought Paul was like, man, like Paul's like filming a lot of stuff. Paul does. <laughs> Paul does a lot of it. Yeah. He he he's he's uh getting more and more into it. So yeah. Yeah, I nice. supplied the arm. So that's right. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. <laughs> you do yeah. Facebook Live, right, or Instagram Live? I've seen. Yeah, we've I've done that a few. Yeah, I was fortunate of, enough to be invited at Gary V event. In that's the city all, yeah, that's ago. awesome. That was uh, that was actually the first Instagram live that I've ever done. So it was kind of again trying to experience it and do it. And I was right. checking it out. And and at one point, Gary V kind of looked at me and he goes like this. He saw he he you know, he obviously knows everything that's you know what everybody's doing there. You know? Right. And at the end, you know, I got a chance to go and say hello to him, and and uh, you know, cause he's, he has hundreds of people following him and trying right. to, you know, say hello to him and keep track of him. But eventually, I'll meet him and, uh, and mm -hmm. introduce myself. And he's he's uh, he's the real deal. Yeah, it was yeah, cool. good. Yeah, he's a lot of fun to to watch and to, to to follow. Yeah, it was funny to see that because actually, it was a day we were recording an episode with Carrie from Brand Groupies. Yeah, and she told us she was going to that event that night. Oh so wow, she was there as well. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. have to connect her up. My wife Dorothy is a member of the of that. Location. Location right. Of luminaries. So uh, they may know each other. Nice. Yeah, they might. Yeah, yeah. they might. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Thank you all for coming in. Yeah. Thanks, Jackie. Um, Thanks, Bill. Thank yep. you. Everyone, Thank you. get down to Red Bank. Check out uh, Chill Cryo. I'll give you all their locations again. First of all, the physical location, 64 Broad Street. Can people just pop in, or should they schedule something in well, advance? Um, you know, re reservations are are you can make reservations, but walk-ins are welcome. So, all right. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So make a reservation on the website redbank.chillcryo.net. Find them on Facebook at Chill Red Bank. Instagram, Chill Cryo Red Bank, and on Twitter, Chill Cryo RB. Um, Paul, thanks very much for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, it was a blast Jackie, time. Bill, thank you guys. Uh, Ming, thank you. You still uh, feel the effects of the treatment? I feel great. Thank you. Know you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a particular glow about yeah, it. Yeah, you do. Looks good, more, looks you're, good. you're smiling more than you usually do. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Thanks, everybody. My name is so Evan much. Balmer. Thank you. Follow me on Instagram at Evan Balmer. Mike Mercia at Mortgage Guy underscore Mike. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks, thanks a Thank you. Sweet. Good. Oh, great. That was great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cool. Fun. Thank you, guys. Fun. Thank you. It. Yeah. Let's get a group shot. For sure. sure. Oh, this you want to roll us out and then we'll like, get in the middle? Oh, that's a good mullet. idea. Yeah. 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 I'm going to grab the mullet. You know what? I'll go grab it. That's good work. Send the other room. Sorry, we're... Uh...